So word of the week has been sourcing. And I'm trying to build up a bit of stock because luckily for me, my sales haven't dipped too much. I'm still averaging three or four sales a day. And that hasn't changed on Thursday and Friday either. So we had a great uh, charity shop haul on Wednesday. All of that has been listed. I was meant to do a stock exchange today, but unfortunately we couldn't get the times to work. So that's happening next week. Sneak peek, I've got a decent Facebook marketplace pickup over the weekend, but I still needed some more stock today. So it's another trip to the charity shop and some more great pickups. Enjoy. Hey guys, what's cracking? Ian, the master of pieces here. I'm a part-time eBay reseller. So what I do is I buy stuff for cheap and sell it online for profit. And at the minute, I am in sourcing mode. My sales have been pretty consistent, actually. I'm selling three or four things a day. And as you know, what I like to do, if I sell four things, I like to list four things the same day. It keeps my total amount of stock in my shop pretty balanced and pretty manageable. But I just haven't got enough stock to list. So we had a decent charity shop pickup on Wednesday. All of that stuff has been listed. I was meant to do a bit of a stock exchange with Poker Picker today, but we couldn't get the times to work. So that's happening next week. But that did mean that I had a few spare hours this afternoon. And I went to another charity shop and I've got a fair few pickups. I'm in a bit of a rota now with my charity shops. I go to my favourite one, Cerebral Palsy Cymru, start of the week, see what stuff they've got. And then end of the week, I go to Bernardo's up in Thornhill, Cardiff. And each time I go, they seem to have different stuff. So they seem to be rotating their stock weekly, perhaps. So it means I can hit it once a week and just enjoy all their new fresh stock. But before we go through all the stuff that I've picked up, let me show you what has sold on Thursday and Friday. And actually there's a fair bit of it, so I'm gonna to have to go and pick it all, but I'll be back in a second. So here we go then. I'm back with my little picking basket and it is absolutely full to the brim. And that is a great sign. And the reason is, is because we've sold nine things across Thursday and Friday, which is brilliant. So let's run through them. So the first thing we sold was this Monsters High doll. And this one is called Frankie Steen. And it comes with lots of different accessories. There's a little dog and a handbag, a hairbrush. And most importantly, it's got that paper diary in there. If you've got that diary with the doll, that, that really does add value. But this doll here sold for £19 plus postage. And this is one of the higher end ones I've got. It's one of the early kind of seasons of these dolls. And I'm already in profit um, on, on this whole bundle. I paid £25 for loads of these dolls, selling them off individually. And that is £19 straight profit plus postage. So what a start. Loving that. Next sale. Hey, look, we're all very familiar with Trackmaster. This guy is called Toby. Not particularly good condition. Lots of scratches on the top there. But it's one of the older versions of the train. You know, it doesn't have the spikes. It's not a revolution. But even so, this one sold for £9 plus postage. So good sale, that one too. We have got a Transformer next. And this one... Is this one has been hanging around for ages. This isn't from any recent bundle. This I've had this one for about four months. And this one sold for only six pounds plus postage. I think his name's Swerve, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, this is the very end of my first Transformers bundle. So good to see him gone. Glad to see him gone. Six pounds plus postage, that one. Next up, we have got a bit of clothing actually. And this one I got for free from my dad's garage. He was having a clear out. Um, the maker is, let, hang on a minute, Poissier Detol, probably not, but we'll go with it. This one sold for £6 plus postage, nice uh, women's cardigan, navy with a with a cool buckle on top, you know, hey, I, I don't know too much about clothes, but £6 plus postage, I'll take that. Next up, actually, while we're on clothing, I picked this one up in my last charity shop haul. I paid five pounds for this Washington, yeah, Washington, yeah, Washington Redskins cap. It's one of the snapback caps with a flat peak, adjustable strap at the back. Look out for Washington Redskins stuff with any of this old, well, and any of this branding on, because they are rebranding the whole kind of franchise. This one sold for 21 pounds plus postage. So five pounds into 21 pounds, take that 
war day. Next two sales are transformer sales. This one is called Sky Claw and it's from the Beast Hunters range. You've got this really cool blue ship. And if you pull all the different bits to it, it all flicks open, gun, guns go everywhere. Really cool toy to play with. And if you flip up the inside, it comes with a little mini transformer car as well. And that one sold for £11.50 plus postage. And the other transformer I sold was this guy. And this has got to be one of my favourite transformers. And um, this one is called Sky Hammer. And he transforms down into a helicopter. Let me just get the instructions out because I think this one is Dark of the Moon. But this one I would have expected to have sold for a bit more. It only sold for £13 plus postage. Yeah, there we go. Dark of the Moon, Sky Hammer. And for me, he just looks really cool in his robot mode. You don't see many helicopter transformers, but he never had any prominent role in the film or the cartoon. So, yeah, he's not collectible in that sense. And I think that has hit onto the value. £13 plus postage. But remember, I only paid a couple of quid for them each. So still, nice bit of profit. And the final sale we had, I've got to give a massive shout out to Kieran from Rummage Around for this. Because I would have never have imagined even picking these up. This is a... It's so I was going to say plastic. It's so plasticky. It's basically a children's toy um, wrestling belt. It's from 2014. It is the World Heavyweight Championship belt. Paid one pound in the charity shop. Sale of the day, fifteen pounds free postage. It's got both of the Velcro bits on the ends. You you do often see these without the Velcro bits. Um, pretty decent condition, but I am always going to look out for these wrestling belts from now on. So. For a Thursday and Friday, really good sales, really chuffed. Let me show you what I picked up in the charity shop today. So before I get into what is in this bag here and all the stuff I picked up in the charity shop, I know I was meant to bring you a bit of a stock trade today, but myself and Welsh Poker Bicker just couldn't arrange a time to meet. So hopefully that's going to happen next week. But I made the most of my time hit all this stuff up in the charity shop and I'm pretty pleased. So I'm just going to delve into this bag and I'm going to show you. And the first thing, you know me, if you go to, go to the charity shop and you see a Jan van Hasteren jigsaw, pick it up. This one I paid £1 for and this will sell for £10 plus postage. And I'm hoping this is third time lucky because the past two jigsaws I've picked up from the charity shop, they've both had one piece missing. So I can't really do anything with them. They've just... I, I feel bad putting them back into the charity shop because if anyone buys them, you know, they're going to have the same problem. So not sure what to do with those, but third time lucky with this one. Come on, Jan van Hasteren. Right, next pickup. And if you watched the live stream with Global Thrifters last night, you would have seen these. But yeah, guys, if you haven't checked out Global Thrifters, go and check them out. Those guys are awesome. Um, but I picked up these CDs and I never pick up CDs from the charity shop. And in particular, these... I paid 50 pence each, and these are SpongeBob SquarePants CDs. This one is called The Yellow Album. That is awesome. And this one is called The Best Day Ever. And I paid, like I said, 50 pence each. These I've got listed up for either £6 or £7 with free postage. So from 50p into, I don't know, what's that going to be? Four or five? No, it's going to be £5 in it after postage is taken off. So that's not too bad. Next thing up, I just took a complete punt on this. I've got this Harry Potter Metal Earth um, Golden Snitch. And essentially all it is is two metal sheets in here with lots of bits that you've got to pop out and then you build this um, Golden Snitch. I paid £1 for that. These are selling for £10 plus postage. So yeah, that was really unexpected, that one. Next up, I hit the computer games and I picked up this big box of sims expansion pack discs basically for the for the for the pc all of that is discs there's eight discs in there and it's got, got a manual paid a pound for that that i'm hoping to go for eight or nine pounds plus postage i also picked up tony hawk's pro skater 3 for the playstation 2 as you can see, only paid a pound. This is selling for about five pounds free postage at the minute. And this will sell pretty quick with the momentum of the new game coming out. Got the disc, got the manual. That should be sold pretty quickly. Next one up, actually, I hit the children's area and I picked up these three for a pound. 
So none of these were priced. They do an offer with five children's books for a pound. So I said, look, I'm, if I buy these three, can I have them for a pound? And she said, yes. First of all, I've got this old Goosebumps book and it's called The Beast from the East. That's awesome. But if you pick the ones up with the old cover, then you're looking at two to three pounds free postage each. So 30 pence into three pounds free postage. Happy with that. And then I've got a Optimus Prime and a Bumblebee. These aren't as basic as the um, as the rescue bots, but they're not as advanced as the ones I've showed you earlier in, in the sales. They only take four or five steps to transform. So great for young children. And I'm going to bundle these two together. Haven't looked at prices. I'm hoping they'll go for, I don't know, seven or eight pounds plus postage, maybe. Next thing up. Oh, man. I tell you, some of you guys are gonna, yeah, you, you're gonna be shouting at the at, at the screen. I paid one pound for this, and what this is is a collector's edition of the Sims Medieval PC game. And every time I watch resellers on YouTube and they show discs like this, and they never have the disc in, I'm always saying, why don't you check? Why don't you check that the disc is in there? And I have just done exactly the same. I picked that up without checking the, the disc was in there. It doesn't have a disc. That is absolutely worthless. Bin, one pound gone. Never mind. <laughs> Next up though, guys. And if Peter Ray's watching, he'll absolutely love this. We have got a Chelsea Football Club scarf. And it's got the old Chelsea badge on there. Paid three pounds for this. Hoping seven or eight pounds plus postage, perhaps. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. And the final thing I had to pick up, had to pick it up, didn't I? Had to pick it up. We've got the final day of the Six Nations coming in October. I found this Welsh football, oh, Welsh rugby jersey. And um, it's a size small and I paid £6 for this. But this will sell for, I'm hoping, 10 to £15. Hoping for £15. Size small is a good size for Welsh um, rugby jersey. Nearly said football again good size for Welsh rugby jerseys because if you ever go to Cardiff on a match day every single person in that town centre will be wearing a Welsh rugby jersey men and women and the women pick up the size small just general match day shirts like this to wear out while they're watching the game and yeah that is I'm really really chuffed for that so pretty decent charity shop haul I haven't done a tot up to think how much I'm going to make from it I spent £15 probably about £50 back which yeah pretty solid so guys that's me today i've got a real nice facebook marketplace pickup over the weekend which i'm really excited to show you hopefully sales keep on going as they're going and i'll have a few more to show you in my in my next video so as always guys click that like click that subscribe button and i'll catch up with you over the weekend Thanks ever so much for watching the video and i really hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up and leave a comment for those new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's already subscribed. I'll see you in the next one.